Well, good Tuesday afternoon, everybody. I'm local forecaster Brandon Rue getting you set for this Thanksgiving Eve's Eve or Tuesday forecast, right? 40 degrees, a lot of really nice sunshine, but it is still cool. Lighter winds still have those winds coming out of the west northwest so the air is cooler for today high clouds rolling in this evening ahead of a weather change coming for tomorrow 29 degrees overnight so still cool this is our newest model and it has the dry air really winning out for the first part of wednesday which just means that we're in for better travel conditions early on Wednesday. Here's a look at your Tuesday afternoon, three o'clock, lots of sunshine. Here come some of those high clouds overnight, but early in the morning, it looks like again, the dry air is going to beat a lot of the wet weather that's trying to come in here as the air cools off and it looks like mainly rain that affect cools the air evaporational cooling will create some maybe sleet and or snow showers through the late morning and then mainly rain here in the yellow and green yellow would indicate some heavier showers through the middle and late afternoon hours even into the evening and we hang on to a few isolated showers early on Thursday but I think by eight o'clock those showers leaving us so by the time America's Thanksgiving parade gets going Conditions start to improve, including tailgating for the Lions and coming in and out of Ford Field should be good to go. Middle and upper 40s on Thanksgiving Day. It's really tomorrow that we need to watch. It's a mid to late morning mix with, again, some slick conditions. If we get some of that sleet and ice and then sloppy through the late afternoon and evening with rain. So just keep that in the back of your mind as you plan your traveling. Most of Thursday looks good to go. Friday, dealing with another system that looks like it's just going to be a light little bit of uh, rain drizzle, maybe a couple of wet snowflakes for Black Friday shopping. And uh, then again, another system coming our way on Monday.